Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Joey for Digital DJ Tips here again with another episode of Your Feedback. This is our weekly show where we share your views to questions posted over at the Digital DJ Tips website. And in this episode, the question is, how do you back up your music library? Now, before I move to your answers, I'm going to share my answer to the question. First, I back up my entire music library to this Western Digital 1TB USB 3.0 drive. You can get this on Amazon for under 60 bucks. And what I do is I have a regular scheduled backup routine. I have two of them actually. First in December, right after I prune my music library of songs that I don't play anymore. And then the second time is in June of the following year where I just make a complete copy of my iTunes music library because I still use iTunes to organize and manage my music. I make a complete copy of that and then I just paste it on over to this little hard drive. So that's my entire backup process. Super simple and it works. Helps me sleep better at night knowing that I've got an exact copy of all of my music over in this little external drive in case something happens to my laptop. Now, let's move on over to your answers. Right, so let's kick things off with this answer by DJAM. And he says, I currently have two external hard drives where I store things in duplicate. One hard drive goes, I immediately buy a new one and copy all the music of the other one onto the new. Over time, as things age, I'll replace said hard drives and use new ones. Hmm, very systematic. I also try not to hang on to every piece of music possible. My old school is most important to me, but I have dumped loads of music that I know I'll just never play ever again. There's just no sense in hanging on to anything that isn't timeless in your eyes. Yeah, DJAM, thank you for that. And again, guys, it is really, really important to prune your music library regularly. You're not going to be playing, uh, if you have a track that you haven't played in five years, you're probably not going to play it at your next bar, pub, or even your next wedding gig. So you may as well delete that and keep your music library up to date. Let's move on over to our next answer this time. It's from Goli, and he says, I use iTunes as well for organizing music. I back up two things. First, the music library folder itself, and second, the iTunes library and all its contents. I use Google Drive, and I pay for larger storage space. I also use GoodSync software to back up the files. I do it once a week. That way, even when some tags and properties are modified, it will all be backed up. I'm going to do it with the tractor collection and data as well. In the past, I used an external hard drive, but I think the cloud is safer. Yes, so there are multiple options now for backing up your data. Again, you can use either a hard drive or if you want to store stuff in the cloud, you've got uh, several choices. You can use something like Google Drive or Dropbox or even iCloud. Uh, you can pay for larger storage to store all your music files. So thank you for that, Goli. Next up is an answer from Ian Williams. And he says, firstly, I have two collections to back up, my DJing collection on my laptop and my master media collection at home. My DJing collection is included on my time machine backup at home. I also keep three extra copies on external USB drives. One backup DJ collection that goes in my gig bag, one that stays at home, and one that's left at work off-site. Wow. My master media collection lives on a 3 terabyte drive at home. This is copied every week using Carbon Copy Cloner to two separate USB drives. One of these stays at home and the other at work. These two are also rotated every week. Home one goes to work, work one comes home. Very, very systematic, Ian. And you looks like you've got all your bases covered here, man. Well done. Our next answer comes from Jeff Lugman. And he says, I use a portable drive made by Western Digital that is RAID 1. It has two two terabyte drives in one portable chassis. The music on this drive and on my SSD and the Mac is backed up with Time Machine to a different drive as well. The Western Digital Drive is also Thunderbolt, so it's fast enough to use in real time with Serato, no glitches. Thank you for that, Jeff. Our next answer is from DJ Smokey, and he says, I have two Western Digital 3TB MyBook drives. I use Time Machine to make a full backup every two or three weeks. I keep one drive in another location, a safe deposit box at the local bank. I rotate them about twice a year. Haven't made a small emergency backup on a pen drive. That sounds like a great idea. Thank you for that, DJ Smokey. 
Well, if you store your hard drives in a bank, you can't get any safer or more secure than that, right? Next up is an answer from Aid Sands over at Facebook and he says, Two laptops with identical music collections, both configured to my controller, external powered hard drive, and some CDs. Good old fashioned CDs. A variety of cables, extra external sound card, extra USB hub, extra cables, extra mic, extra headphones, and another mixer stashed in the car. The show's going ahead one way or another. Thanks for that aid. You seem to have like a backup for everything in your DJ kit, not just your music library, but everything else that you need in order to uh, perform in front of people. So that's really, really cool. Thank you for that aid. Uh, Sai House says, as a record box user, I regularly back up my collection to a pair of USB hard drives using the export feature. Unfortunately, I did have a hard drive death on my laptop a few months back and found that record box is unable to re-import playlists from the external hard drives. So while I'm able to salvage my 20,000 plus legit MP3s, I lost all my playlists, cue points, and hotkeys. Oh man, they still exist on the USB hard drives, but not in my main collections. That is, that's a total bummer, Sai. I'm sorry that happened to you, man. Right, let's move on to our last answer. This one is by Trigov Hagland, and he says, I use one one terabyte drive with Time Machine for local backup of my computer and Backblaze for unlimited cloud backup. Yeah, so these days, if you want to be really, really secure, you could have an external hard drive with your music, and you could also back up your entire collection over to the cloud. Again, it doesn't really cost a lot to sign up for an account over at Dropbox, Google Drive, or iCloud, as well as any of the other cloud uh, service providers that you could sign up for. I think it is a worthwhile investment, especially if you spent many, many, many years building your music collection, pruning them, making sure they're up to date, and basically, you know, you already have all your cue points there, you've got all your playlists and all that other stuff, especially if you're uh, heavy on using a specific DJ software like Tractor, Serato, Virtual DJ, or Record Box DJ. So I think it's a small price to pay in order to sleep better at night. So that's it for this episode of Your Feedback. Thank you to everybody who sent in their answers. I always check the Digital DJ Tips Facebook page as well as the comments section over at the Digital DJ Tips website. So if you want to be featured in an upcoming episode of Your Feedback, all you got to do is to answer any of our upcoming weekend questions and I just might pick you. So I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that thumbs up icon and if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. My name is Joey. I'm going to see you in the next episode of Your Feedback. Thank you for watching.